What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome to another video. Today we're talking Lightroom shortcuts. More importantly, my five favorite Lightroom shortcuts that I think will help you save time organizing your photos and editing your photos. Now in my recent video about Lightroom tips, we talked um, briefly about Lightroom shortcuts. I shared one of them with you, in fact, the, the X that I use when I'm in the crop mode. And that got me thinking, there are so many Lightroom shortcuts. Pretty much every key on the keyboard does something in Lightroom, some kind of shortcut. Some of them will save you a little bit of time, some of them will save you more time. But you know what, even if you do a whole load of things that saves you one or two seconds each, over the course of an editing session, you could be talking a substantial amount of time saved. Before we get into the detail of them, I'm going to ask you guys to do all the usual YouTube stuff for me. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, let me know some of the other Lightroom shortcuts that you use, which ones are your favourites, because hopefully it will help everybody else who's watching the video and then goes to check out the comments afterwards. The way we're going to do this in a second, we're going to spin around, I'll get onto the computer here and, and screen record and actually show you um, not just the ones that I use, but also what they do and why I think they're useful. Hopefully that'll make you understand them a little bit better if you're less familiar with them. The reason I like Lightroom shortcuts is the way I set myself up when I'm editing. I have my right hand, I'm right-handed on my mouse and my left hand on the keyboard. And what that enables me to do is kind of use a combination of pressing keys and moving the mouse to save myself a bit of time. Rather than every time clicking on a setting and then adjusting it, I'm, I'm using the keyboard. And so the fact I can hit a key and I'm into the, the tool that I want to use and I can use the mouse to steer it or the cursor keys on the keyboard, I find that combination just makes me a lot quicker that's why I think they're a really good thing to learn you're not going to use all of them I don't use all of them but you will find your favorites and maybe some of the ones I suggest today are going to be good for you right no messing around let's spin around get onto the computer and I will show you some of these shortcuts Okay, so here we are in Lightroom, and I've picked some photos from uh, the Fulham against Millwall game. I think this was in the uh, beginning of last year, I think this was. Um, some photos of Mitrovic, which is slightly controversial at the moment, because Mitrovic might not be playing for Fulham for much longer. Uh, but these are the photos we're going to use to show you some of these shortcuts. And like I said, I've got five of these I'm going to share with you today. The first one which I wanted to look at was something which I used to pick uh, frames. So what you're going to see here is that I've got a sequence of photos uh, from the same moment. So Mitrovic just scored his goal and, uh, and he's celebrating his goal. And we've got a load of photos from the same moment. Now, of course, in this situation, when I'm sending out live, I'm only going to pick maybe one, maybe two of these frames uh, to send out. Later on, when I send a full set, I might come back and go through them. But initially, in the short term, I just want to pick my best one. So one of the shortcut keys I will use here um, is the C, and that is C for compare. And if you hit C, what happens? It jumps to this screen here where you can compare two images. And you can see it's just selected the two next to each other. You can change it. So I could say, right, I want to compare it with with these two or, or these two but what it enables you to do is to look at two images next to each other and I can see which one do I think is best and straight away I'm looking I'm thinking oh that right hand side one is better I can see more of his face um, gives me a little bit more to work with in the image and so I am going to choose that right hand one if I hit C again it switches back so I've just got the one image and I know that I'm going to use the next one so there you go I've got an image that I'm going to start working with so just to show you again I hit C it shows me the two images to compare. I hit C again, and I'm back to just the one one image, and I know it's the next one that I'm going to use. So the C shortcut, really valuable in this situation. Okay, the next shortcut I'm going to show you. We're looking at um, another one of these images in the same sequence here. Um, but I want to check, you know what, I think this is the image I want to use. Let me just double check it's sharp. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit Z, and that will just zoom in on the photo. That enables me to do a quick check. Is it sharp? Yes, it is. Great, crack on. So you hit Z, I'm zoomed in. Is it good? Yep, I'm out again. Because sometimes you'll get an image that, that looks sharp. When you zoom in, you think, oh, hang on, it's not sharp at all. Now, don't get too hung up on this. People will do this and then they'll think, oh, hang on, there's a bit of noise here. Or, yeah, there is, but people can't see that when it's just a regular image. All you're doing is a quick check. Is it sharp? Yep. Let's carry on and, and edit this image. So that Z um, is a really handy shortcut key for you to have. The next one we're going to look at is the R key. And what the R does is it takes you here into the crop road. I think R actually is for like re, 
retouch or refr no, reframe, I think it's for, but it's the crop mode. So you hit R and it takes you straight to here. It's just a lot quicker than, than going up here and selecting it and, and coming back. When you're working fast, you, you literally can just hit the R key and straight away you are you are cropping your image. It's actually not much to do with this, right? Maybe we just ever so slightly bring it in like that but not really going to do too much. And there we go. We've got an image that we are good to work with. So the R key takes you straight into that crop mode. Really handy to work with quickly. Okay, next up, we have got a shortcut that I use all the time, and that is the um, the backstroke key, I'm going to call it. You'll see I'm putting all these uh, on the screen as we go. But what this one enables you to do, so let's say I, I edit my photo and I decide with this, you know what, I need, uh, I definitely need a little bit of white balance and I yeah, I need some contrast and and I need to um, play with the, uh, the highlights and I, I definitely want a bit of clarity in there maybe get some vibrance there we go and i look at that photo and i think oh hang on have i gone too far with this edit which <laughs> clearly we have but what i can do is i can hit that backstroke key and it will show me don't worry here's what your photo looked before you started messing with it hit it again and it shows me the after before and after and i'm looking thinking, what have i done have i made that photo better or worse and it's pretty apparent to me, you know what, I've made it a lot worse. So I'm just going to hit this reset button down here and I'm back to where I was. And I don't need to worry. I haven't ruined my photo forever. Really important one to learn that backstroke so you can compare the before and after once you've started hitting an image. OK, the, the next shortcut I'm going to show you, this is a really handy one. So let's say you've done a little bit of editing work on this image, right? We're not going to do much to it, but let's say we, we tweak a couple a little bit, maybe. Maybe we just get a slightly yellow or slightly green, perhaps. Yeah, that probably feels about right. Tiny little tweet. Maybe we add a little bit of vignette. I'm not saying this is the finished article, but for the sake of this, we'll say that. Oh, that, well, actually, that, that works pretty well. So then we say, right, that image is done. It's good to go. Great. Let's move on to the next image. And you, when you get to the next image, you realize, oh, you know what? It's, it's such a similar image that actually I want the settings to be exactly the same. Well, rather than going through and trying to get them all the same, what you can do here, if you get to your next image, you press Control alt v i think if you guys are working on mac i think this is command alt v but on pc control alt v and what that is going to do is paste the same settings from the previous image so you can see it's changed it over here and it's the exact same settings from that previous image slightly bit more shadow on the face here so maybe we then decide actually we're just going to tweak that up slightly but overall it's done the same thing to the same very similar image and it's just saved you a load of time in fact you could probably go through and do that with all these images in this sequence let's go back to one of these ones over here yeah it would probably be about the same right so control alt v real handy it pastes the settings from the previous image onto the current image that you are looking at so that is the fifth and final lightroom shortcut let's spin back around to round off our little video here so there you go that is five of my favorite lightroom shortcuts there's a lot more and there are others that i use maybe we'll do a part two and i'll show you five more at some point but definitely get out there and start checking them out you can even get um like a cover that goes over a keyboard that shows you all of the shortcut keys i actually don't use one of those but uh, when i was looking at them it made me think oh that that could be cool so uh, i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to link a couple of them in the description below i haven't got these so i'm not saying i vouch for them um, but they do look pretty cool so check them out in the links below if you want to have a look at those as i said don't forget to comment below and let me know which other shortcuts maybe you use that i didn't mention in the meantime guys thank you very much for watching this video i will see you on the next one